This particular video refers to the Switch Connect Transformer, part numbers 755.120, 755.199 and 755.210, which are typically controlled by a flow switch on the pipework going to the shower. You can see what transformer you have by looking at the label on the underside of the transformer. The switch transformer can also be identified by the two core bell wire. In this video we will be discussing your options if your pump will not start or will not stop running. The first scenario that we will look at is the pump not starting. Before looking in more detail at potential issues, please undertake some basic checks. Ensure all wiring is undamaged and that all connections are secure. Ensure that no fuses have blown. Ensure that power is actually getting to the transformer, i.e. that the transformer has not been turned off at the fuse spur by accident. An easy way of checking if the power is getting to the transformer is to press and release the test button. The LED should illuminate green and the pump should start for around 30 seconds. If this happens, then the issue lies with the signal being received by the transformer from the flow switch. To see where the problem lies, please disconnect the transformer bell wire from the connector block like so. And then hold the two transformer bell wires together for a few seconds like so. And the pump should start after a short delay. If this is the case then the flow switch may need cleaned out or replaced. To clean the switch firstly isolate the water supply and remove and clean the filter like so. If the switch is still not working then remove the switch from the pipework and run it under the water tapping it gently to remove any foreign objects that may have lodged in the switch. Having done this, refit and test the switch. If the transformer is still not working, fit a new flow switch. If the pump turns on and does not switch off, the test we need to carry out is to disconnect the bell wire from the connector block while the pump is running like so. After a few seconds the pump should stop. If it does switch off, please check and clean the flow switch as shown previously. If it does not switch off, it may mean that the transformer has failed and needs replaced. However, before doing this, please cut the bell wire about 2 inches from the transformer to ensure that the cable has not been damaged behind the wall. If the transformer continues to run, you have confirmed that the transformer is at fault and will need replaced. Thank you for watching.